Hi. <coughs> Today I'm going to give you a little introductory uh, video to the tool that I've been using to make the tutorials, even the ones that I've posted to YouTube. And that's this guy here. It's called Screener. You can get a free um, uh, membership in Screener by just logging on. And in order to show you the logon page, I'm going to have to go somewhere else. So I'm going to open up a different browser, which is my Apple browser. Safari and I'm going to go to screener.com from there. So this is the this is the sign on screen that you would see. Now this is put together by a company called articulate.com and they sell software um, uh, for various business and educational purposes and they give you links to their e-learning community and their e-learning blogs up here at the time. When you make an account you can sign up with Twitter, Facebook, Google or Yahoo and that's just for the free account. If you click the Go Pro button it takes you into their business page which is for heavier users um, and the prices are not too bad. I'm going to go back going to go over there so you can see it it gives you for support sites for software development for instance one of the things that they talk about is if you're an IT guy you can once you have a pro account you can download a little screener um, widget onto the web the desktop of a person whose computer you're in charge of maintaining and then they can click it and show you what their problem is and that gives them gives the IT guy a better way to figure out what's going on I'm going to go back to the regular screener <coughs> and show you some of the public stream. These are uh, screeners that have been made recently by different people. So this person, for instance, just put up a three-minute thing about screen crash. A sc so it shows you something like the stuff that you've been seeing with mine going to go back over here and you can like it you can get into the community you can make comments on other people's videos you can take a look at what's available here some of them are tutorials so it's sort of the same kind of advice I've given you for other sites that you can get more information um, uh, from the community on screener about things that you might need to know or want to know in your own class I'm going to go back to my screener this is just this basic screen that shows that your your screener is loaded and it's going off um, recording what it's done basically is put a big red box on my screen and anything I go to whether I go out to my desktop <clears throat> or I open another piece of software um, you'll be able to see that because inside of that red box that's what it's recording for you and outside of that red box well I'm not actually going to play um, <laughs> so, a solitaire for you outside of that red box box there's a little tiny toolbar at the top and it shows you how loud your voice is it gives you how many minutes you've got done until the maximum of um, five minutes which is the maximum of what you can do here I can't show you my own screencast because it will pause the system so um, but anyhow this is screener so I'm going to put some information in the module with some uh, videos that give you a more specific kind of introduction to what screener can do and you've already seen what it can do because this is the thing that I have been using so if you have something on your website that you want to share with your students if you want to go over talking if you want to go over these things and talk about um, um, certain modules and what you expect them to be able to do if you want to make them a little tutorial if you want to go out and show them an art site for instance and roll through the pictures that are um, on an art site uh, you can do all of that kind of stuff and this will record whatever is on your screen with your voiceover narrative at the same time so it's very useful